Warning, this episode contains scientific and educational content that may not be suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hey everybody. This is Wamsuter, Wyoming, population 68. Relatively speaking, it's the flattest place I've been so far in Wyoming. There's a very good reason for that. I'm in the middle of the Continental Divide in the Rocky Mountains. But this place is unlike any other place in the Rocky Mountains or anywhere else in North or South America for that matter. About a hundred miles northwest of here, the Rocky Mountains divide and create a plateau in the Continental Divide. As you remember from school, the Continental Divide is the ridge of mountains that runs like a spine down the western part of North America and divides which direction rivers and water drain from. Everything on the west side of the Continental Divide is going to flow into the Columbia and Colorado rivers and head to the Pacific. Everything on the eastern side of the Divide is eventually going to work its way to the Missouri and Mississippi river systems and out into the Gulf of Mexico and to the Atlantic Ocean. Except for right here. North of here, the Rocky Mountains split and the Continental Divide becomes two parts. And then back south of here again, it combines again. So I'm in the middle of what's called the Great Divide Plateau or the Great Divide Basin. Any water or precipitation, including all this snowfall you see that falls here, can't get out by flowing to rivers and streams. So the only way it can get out is through evaporation or by falling down into the water table. Got about 180 more miles to go before I get to Utah and only about uh, 20 more miles before I cross back out of this basin. Now if the Continental Divide works as it's supposed to, I should be able to put the car in neutral and just coast downhill the rest of the way to California. Hopefully the next time I see y'all, it's going to be someplace with less wind and less cold. <laughs>